Hey guys, you know, I've got the flu, but I was looking at this picture. It's Giza. It's the pyramids. And you look at this picture and something hit me like a ton of bricks. Now, I was already thinking, what could this represent? They are trying to enshrine the knowledge here. All the Arab legends say they enshrined all the maths and sciences into stone so that they would not be lost, so they would last forever. So what's going on? Well, I often thought... The Great Pyramid does represent the Earth uh, as in its measures, so I thought, well, is this Venus? Because Venus, the Khafre Pyramid, Venus is actually slightly smaller than the Earth, and this pyramid is slightly smaller than that one. But there is another explanation. Is this an oxygen atom? Are they worshipping oxygen? And if so, why are they venerating oxygen? Because it gives life? Let me explain. This is the proton, the Khafre pyramid, the one that represents the Earth, with all the Earth ratios, the Khufu pyramid, would be the neutron. When a neutron spits out an electron, which was the colourful pyramid, the one with the coloured pink granite blocks, it becomes slightly smaller. And it turns into a proton. So there's the proton next to the electron, so there's a charge holding itself together, there's the neutral one, the neutron. So that's the center of the atom. It's always a proton and a neutron. And over here, you have what would be an inner orbital of electrons. So that's the electron pair. And the fact is, only the outer orbitals are reactive. Only they are going to react. They give the element all its properties, everything. Everything happens due to the outer orbitals. Inner orbital doesn't matter. These electrons are tied up. They can't bond with anything. I mean, archaeologists don't have, don't, they should have a chemistry background or, 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 or a physics background or they're never going to work this out. They just have an, an arts background, which is, oh, this, this picture of Osiris is green, so he's, he's fertility. That's it. That's all they do. Look, look, let me explain how it works. And so the outer orbital would have one, two, three, four, five, six electrons ready to react with another atom. Hydrogen, which is just one proton and one electron. And the proton is weight 1, and the electron is weight 0 0.00794. And then you go to helium. And helium is um, number 2, because it's got two protons, two neutrons. So the weight is 4, then you add the electrons. Okay? They're the weight. And so that's the inner orbital. That's the first orbit. That's the second orbit. The third orbit. The fourth orbit. That's how it works. And these are the number of electrons, and a different number of electrons make all these with similar reactivity. So they've all got the same number of electrons in the outer shell, but a different number of shells. So you count up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oxygen. A planet with oxygen. Do you see what I'm saying here? This is a planet. Why would you be worshipping oxygen? They're saying this is a planet with oxygen. And they even made the Menkore Pyramid. They, they gave it funny colors. It used to be red, you know. That's because electrons make things shiny. The more and, and a metal basically has a lot of free electrons. And, and these give the shine, the luster, because there's a lot of detail there. So they made this, this metallic-looking, shiny, weird. And then these ones are just white, unreactive. Black things are conductive. White things are unconductive. Do, do, do you see what's going on here? If this represents an atom, and it should re represent an atom, because why would that be slightly smaller, like a proton and a neutron? That's a proton, the neutron. Well, do you see what's happening here? Uh, I just... <clears throat> I don't know what to say. These Khufu people, they didn't understand they were doing this. Because it could be more perfect. But they had libraries left over from their ancestors. And they looked in the libraries and they found out what was sacred, what was important, and they said, hey, yeah, 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 let's, let's immortalize that, that a phrase there, that's important, yeah, that, that, that's the ancient teaching, yeah, we need to do what the ancestors did, yeah. And so they finished off these pyramids, they were probably different before, I think they look like Mayan or Chinese pyramids underneath. You know, if you strip, you know what they should do? Cut a trench right through the Khafre pyramid, right that way, and tourists could walk through, they said, there's no chambers in there, what are you going to hurt? right through, right through the Khafre Pyramid, and as you got to there, you'd be able to see the Mayan Pyramid inside, and you'd see all the inner layers, all the inner pyramids, and even the original mound, because this isn't just built all at once. 
It took Cologne Cathedral 800 years to be built, and there were smaller churches there. You don't just build this. You build it on top of smaller ones. Anyway, guys, thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed that. I thought that was very interesting. Cheers, and thumbs sub up, whatever.